Hey you guys, so right now I am in La Vega, La Vega, Dominican Republic, and it's about 30 minutes away from, 30 minutes south of Santiago. And it, first thing I can tell you is it's a nicer city than a lot of these other places. Um, the people are nicer. Uh, let me just compare it to, I, I went to this Hato Mayor del Rey. Um, and that place was, I mean, it was just awful. The infrastructure was shit. Um, everything, really. But this is, this is a different sort of city. Again, it's a small city. Um, I'm not gonna just be a verbal or oral. I'm not gonna give you an audio Wikipedia rendition of the place, because I think figure you can look that stuff up. But what is the impression that you get when you come here? Well, the first thing is people are more reserved than they are certainly in Santo Domingo. Um, and don't get me wrong, there's things I like about Santo Domingo, but I tend to like uh, these places where it's not, for example, there's no, there's some traffic here, but it's not like, I mean, it's a small town, there's really no traffic, all right? Um, and Santiago is the same way. I, I can't speak for the internet. All right, I can't say anything about the internet because it's so close to Santiago. I can just come down here for the day, not even the day, you know, it only, it takes 30 minutes on Carib tours because Car this, this city, La Vega is right on the main freeway that connects Puerto Plata, Sorsua, the north, and Santo Domingo. So there are buses continually going back and forth, back and forth, I would say every 20 or 30 minutes from Santiago. So, and it's 125 pesos to go from Santiago to, to go from Santiago to this place, La Vega. So it's uh, just no problem getting here. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna meet a girl down the street at a coffee shop and then go back up. You know, she works every day, basically nine to five, but she gets a two hour lunch. Um, so, now what is this in the Dominican, the world of the Dominican, well, what is, what, what are some other things that kind of set this place off or make it a little different? Well, one, it's known for having more order, right? There's not as much crime here. Uh, according to the taxi drivers, at least, there are lots of uh, government workers, you know, funcionarios in the government that have places here, have homes and they, they vacation here. And the same thing with Harabakoa, right? The city of Harabakoa. Um, so you can sense it, you can feel it uh, amongst the people. This is my second time being down here. And the first time I spent the whole day going around to different places and different coffee shops, parks, restaurants with this other girl I was meeting and you can just sense you can feel it in the a lot of the way um, the people are now I, I don't know this is like their court and so maybe there are a bunch of misdemeanor you know domestic violence divorce or criminal cases people coming in and out for their court date so I, I, I can't really speak for that you can see right there's some I so I don't know if this is really representative, but this particular area, but here in La Vega, you can just tell right away, it, it's not like a place like Boca Chica, right? Boca Chica, the people there can barely even speak their own language. They can barely speak Spanish, both in terms of their grammar, um, 
spelling, uh, pronunciation of Spanish is just so awful. It's barely, you know, you could barely call it Spanish. Um, but that's not the case here, okay? Um, and the same thing is true of, with uh, Santiago. Now, one thing people don't always know is this Cibao region, this valley region in the central part of the Dominican Republic. When you include, uh, when you include a bunch of different, um, when you include all the cities around here, Santiago, San Francisco de Mecores, um, La Vega, Mao Valverde, all this, the, this whole area in there, it actually has the largest population in the Dominican Republic. People often don't know that. They don't actually know it, but it is a fact. The Dominicans know that. The, the Dominicans are aware of that. But foreigners, they just go to the coastal regions for the beaches, which is great. Um, and they go to Santo Domingo because it's the capital. But they don't really see the rest of the country. And again, this, the inner valley, so this, this, uh, this plains area, in the central part of the Dominican Republic, all in all, has the largest population um, when you conclude all those cities together, right? And it also, you may or may not know this, but it also, it has the highest educational level and the salaries are slightly higher as, as much as I know. It has a higher, you can look this up, you can confirm this on, uh, on Google, etc. Um, and I'm not emotionally invested in this point. I'm not, I don't have any, you know, dog in the fight. I'm just observing things, right? Observing what is, not why. I have no idea why, right? There's a big difference between the why and the what. So at any rate, um, sort of the, the level of human development in the Santiago, La Vega, Cibao region, the Dominicans themselves themselves know that this is the case, and according to informational statistics websites, geography websites online, that's also the case. And, and I can I can definitely attest to it living in Santiago and having traveled around this Cibao region. Um, so, that is La Vega, um, and I'll uh, talk to you guys later.